Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, how can I effectively use a for loop in React to filter and display gym classes from a JSON file? Let's break down the issue. Our viewer has successfully created a function to filter gym classes based on the day and time. However, they find themselves repeating code to display the filtered classes multiple times. They want to know how to streamline this process using a for loop or for each. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hoping finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now let's continue on. Let's start by understanding the issue. You want to loop through your function to filter gym classes based on the day and hour, but your current implementation only returns one item. To achieve the desired functionality, we can use a for loop to iterate through the hours and return a list of filtered classes for each hour. Here's how you can modify your actualizer lista function. Instead of returning immediately, we will collect the results in an array and then return that array at the end. Next, in your render method, you can call ActualizeRLista for each day and render the results. This will ensure that all classes for each hour are displayed correctly. By implementing these changes, you will be able to loop through your function and display all the relevant gym classes for each hour and day. This approach is efficient and keeps your code clean. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In React, using a for loop to iterate over an array won't return anything. Instead, you should use the map function to transform the array elements. Here's an example of how to use map in a React component. The ActualizeRLista function maps over an array of hours and returns a list of items. Additionally, it's suggested to define the hours array outside of the class since it's constant, improving performance. And that's it, guys. I hope you found the answer that you're looking for and got to that resolution in the end. If you did, please take a moment, hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. Until the next time you need more technical videos, I hope you have a great day. Cheers.